We have a brand new degree here at Kingsborough Community College in Earth and Planetary Sciences. They will be studying physical geology, how the dynamic Earth actually works, why it works the way it does, and then of course the solar system and the cosmos. Basic astronomy, basic understanding of how the solar system stays together, what the planets are, what they're composed of, how they formed. Students use cutting edge instruments in laboratory, including a brand new SEM or secondary scanning electron microscope right down the hallway here at Kingsborough. With a light microscope, you can magnify things up to about a thousand times. With the scanning electron microscope, you can go up to 300,000 times. It's an excellent tool for looking at minerals as well as composition. You can look at the structure of the minerals and you can look at the composition, what they're made of. If you're interested in aluminum in a meteorite and, and where it's located, you can create maps that show you where the aluminum is distributed over areas less than a millimeter across. Unique to this institution, is you have several professors, myself, Professor Weisberg, who are cosmochemists, meteoriticists, which are about one of 300 people in the world who study meteorites. So you actually get uh, an education in meteorite science, which is the only way we understand the very earliest processes that led up to forming planets. And it's actually a degree that is also uh, linked with Brooklyn College, so students can achieve their two-year degree here with us and then articulate right into Brooklyn College's geology program and pursue a degree in geology. One of the other emphasis we have in the EPS program is involving undergraduates in research. Uh, because that research experience, a focused research experience, is extremely important for students to learn how to solve problems. My independent study class, it's basically meteorite identification and classification. We bought some meteorites for the laboratory, and some of these meteorites come from desert areas, and we don't know what type they are. So I decided to create this course where students would take a meteorite and go through all the steps of classification and determine what it is. There's something called the Meteoritical Bulletin that publishes all new meteorites that are described from around the world. Their name gets published and their meteorite gets published. There are a number of uh, job opportunities if you want to further uh, your career in earth science. Um, geologists can be hired in the public or private sector. Geologists are used as consultants for everything from construction to the building of public works projects. Of course, you have petroleum geology, which is where the big money is in exploration as well as petroleum research. Questions that come from a lecture on Newtonian physics with me relating it both to planetary science and the formation of the planets and to their everyday life, veer off from the science and go into their everyday life. And that's equally as important to me as it is to studying the origin of the planets.